An idea becomes in a reality here in Spencer. I'm Brandon Boner for Non Focus, and today we get to see the dome rise for the very first time. This project started with a referendum and an idea, and the community embraced it after putting together a survey and really assessing what it is that the Spencer School District needs. And today we are inside the building after they inflated the dome. It is just one critical milestone in the future that is unfolding here in Spencer. Mike Endry, superintendent of the Spencer School District, shared with us his ideas and thoughts and what it meant for him when this idea was first proposed. My first thought when this idea was presented to me was a dome, but uh, and the concept was so abstract in my mind, but uh, um, that initial thought process went to bed when, when uh, we were able to go and visit Johnson Creek down south of the state here and we um, and saw it and we thought, wow, we can do this. And it, and it kind of put everything in perspective at that point. Prior to this project kicking off, there were some critical needs for the school district, including relocating the weight room. Tell us the situation, why the weight room was so problematic to the school system. Well, uh, the weight room was, was the starting process and that was the, you know, I think four years ago now, time, time slips away, but uh, that was our original premises. We need to, we need to get too much weight off an old stage. It's basically what our current weight room was. And uh, we were having trouble with the floor structure, wasn't, wasn't withholding that amount of weight. So that was the first problem that we posed with the board. And it evolved and it evolved to where we're at now. As you looked at this space as a multi-purpose space, what problems were you able to solve by this construction and remodeling the school district? We identified needs and, and a lot of the needs were surrounded. We didn't have enough gym space. I mean, we know our youth programs were struggling in getting gym space. They were having to practice at nine o'clock at night. Um, we didn't like that. Um, obviously the weight room piece that I talked about. And then as part of the, the dome is only part of it. We also have a link, what we call a link building, which connects the dome to the rest of the structure. So we never had a, we never had a designated coral room. We never had a designated handbell room, and those are two very popular programs. So that is going to be part of that link piece, and then, and then we also on a we talked about just the weight room for our kids, but we thought you know what a need a feature for our um, for our community to have a fitness center that they can that they can come to. But all in all, what's what's even new, more unique about this whole need thing is Spencer does not have a tornado safe shelter. This will serve our community. People from miles around, if a tornado is coming to Spencer, will have a safe place to reside. So that's another huge piece that uh, plays into this as well. So being a superintendent of the school district, obviously when you first went to referendum, there was no guaranteed FEMA grant. Correct. Asking for the city to take on all of the expense must have had some burden and weight on you as an individual as well as a superintendent. What made you move forward with that request? Well, you know, Anytime, anytime you're going to a taxpayer and say, hey, we're, and ask for, because I get it. I get home lives, I get, you know, financial burdens uh, families have. I understand all of that. And it's always a big ask whenever, you, you know, whenever you're going to, to ask somebody. But that's not something we take lightly either. I want to ask if it was, we didn't feel it was an important need. Through surveying and stuff, we found out that there is, there is a lot of interest in our community in having such a facility. The other piece I think we always have to keep in mind is, I think the village of Spencer as a community was, is, at a, is at a turning point. We could either become a retirement community or we can grow the community. And I think the decision, to me, the, the decision to vote yes in the referendum was, we want to grow our community. You know, the village has done a lot of things in regards to subdivisions and so forth in the area to, uh, for more homes and for more places to stay. This will pay a this this structure will play a piece of that in encouraging young families to come in and settle in in Spencer because we all know it's a great place and we uh, I was born and raised here and and uh, I I raised my kids here for that purpose because I know it's a great place to live and we want to encourage more people to, to come here and it's situations like this and structures like this is only going to encourage that. Speaking with school board member Jordan Buss, we learned a lot about what's going to happen next in regards to the continued construction of this project. So we would have started digging footings, um, would have been mid-September um, for, the, for the dome portion. Uh, site work started um, around the 4th of July um, and they started 
spraying shotcrete walls a couple of weeks ago, and obviously now today we have the uh, dome inflation. How is the, the roof actually supported? Is it by trusses? Is it by beams? It's a PVC airform that's attached to the 12-foot stem walls, and then there um, is a number of um, blowers that create positive air pressure inside of the dome to, to inflate um, the roof. From here, they will spray urethane um, insulation from the inside and then hang a system of rebar um, from that insulation um, being held up with the uh, positive air pressure. And then they'll spray shotcrete um, until it reaches a critical thickness. And from there, it'll be a freestanding structure that can take a direct hit from an EF5 tornado. Uh, we're hoping to have it finished uh, in August of 2021. Um, ready for our uh, school year next year to be able to be utilized by both our students and the community. So there you have it guys. That is what is taking place here in Spencer today. The community is rejoicing. The people here are celebrating. I'm Brandon Bona for Non Focus, giving you the news that matters most. Stay tuned as we continue to cover you.